If you reached all your goals for your physical body based on what you think your body's capable of doing or based on what somebody's told you you're capable of doing, would you be elated or would you be massively disappointed? And this is such an important thing to consider, especially if you're doing any type of healing, because oftentimes people set goals that are so small in comparison to what their capacity actually can produce. And there's a quote by Michelangelo that holds this way of thinking and the truth of what I'm trying to convey here better than I could even say it. So I'm just going to read you the quote. The greatest danger for most of us is not that our aim is too high and we miss it, but that it's too low and we reach it. And notice that he uses the word danger and I could not agree more. What I see often is people come with goals and expectations put on their physical body that pale in comparison to even the smallest expression of what it is to be a human and the tiniest demonstration of what a physical body is capable of doing. And I want you to know that if you have the capacity and the capability to heal a cut, to sneeze, to cough, to feel, you can heal anything and it's entirely up to you. But oftentimes we set our standards based off of an industry, based off of some science or some way of thinking that has absolutely nothing to do with truth and absolutely nothing to do with your very unique expression of life. And so if you are setting your goals and you're setting your goals for your life, your only life, the only one that you've got, if you set them so low as to not get your hopes up or to not ever be disappointed or to not risk what it's going to feel like if you fail, that is such a sad way to live a life. And what I've actually seen is when people set their standards so high, the act of living to what gets them there gives them the thrill, the passion, the purpose, the deliciousness that they were after anyways. And that's the whole point of living. And so I want you to really think about what's held in this quote and go look at your goals in your life and ask yourself honestly, if you reached your goals, if, if you matched exactly what you had in your mind of what you want, even if it's just you not wanting certain symptoms, is the achieving of that the most beautiful expression of your life, an explosion of what it is to be you in this time, in this space, the only time that you get? Does that match the magnificence and the magnitude of what is held within you, what is expressed and the potential and the possibility that's pulsing through your veins, just waiting for you to ask, waiting, you, waiting for you to pull from it, to utilize it, to give that I want and it gives you that I have and so many are not even giving the opportunity to see what they're capable of because they're setting the standards so low so even if this is just in medicine don't just want to get rid of the rash don't just want to you know reverse your thyroid labs and make them normal don't just that is so small raise your standards just match it with something that's true first and then let's try to see what's actually possible for human beings when we're actually pushing something and not just settling into it's not even mediocrity because mediocrity in the human body is still magnificent it's still massively powerful it's something less than that that we're doing within medicine we're diluting it so much that you don't think your physical body is capable of doing almost anything much less everything. So what if you swapped this in your head? What if you switched this thinking just for yourself and you saw how dangerous it was to limit yourself, how dangerous it is to minimize your capacity and how much it threatens your life to live in accordance to that being your North Star, your compass, what you're letting guide your entire life and your decision making and your thinking and your feeling and your expressing. And what if you raised the standard for yourself and saw what happened when you lived your way there?